All right, YouTube. Today we're gonna do a carburetor replacement on a Echo uh, backpack lure. It's a PB265L. Um, it's a uh, what's that? RBK70 is the carburetor. Oh, uh, the Chinese ones are a little bit different. They've got this little pipe here, and this one will actually thread in. But I'll show you how to get around that and everything as well. So. Usually the kits come with everything you need, like air filters and primer balls and, you know, I'll put you a kit that's got everything in it that you might possibly need. Just take the air filter off. Um, it's two Allens. I don't think I'll need any of this. Two Allens. Um, not sure what size these are, four or five millimeter maybe worn off of my wrench so I have no idea what it is. Just like that. Pull that off. See this one is broken that's why they, you know and the primer ball is just completely dry rotted out. Um, the fuel lines feel all right though so we're just gonna leave them. And just unscrew this one. Oh I meant to screw it back in. Let's get this stuff first here. Cable out. That's an awful lot of cable. All right, then unscrew it. Okay. And the new one, we're going to take this piece out. Just needed. RBK 70 carburetor, pretty common. They use them on a lot of different ones. Throw this through. Turn this so that it lines up like that. trying to record it and do this at the same time. There we are. Then we'll screw this right on into here. That should be good. Air filter assembly back on it. Make sure that you've got the gasket the old one's there so we don't need to put a new one the old gaskets there get them both started before you tighten it down all right that's it's not tight enough I need to loosen that up more This uh, elbow is at an angle, so it's creating it to throttle up a little bit. We don't want that to happen. We tighten it down. So we're gonna, you know, there's your gasket you don't want to lose. We're just gonna tighten it all the way around one more. I'm gonna we'll leave it out at a slight angle like that. Make sure you put the gasket on. So we can get a little bit of slack on this cable. Can't see. Nope. Woo, spot. 
Spider! <laughs> See that mother rocker? Yeah. <laughs> they came flying out. Oh fuck. Looks like a brown recluse even, dude. That was um, cool. Yeah, that was like, real good. Alright, just gotta loosen it and then just tighten this in. If we tighten this in, it'll give us the slack we need up here. See, that's a fucking. Well, that ain't recluse. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah, but you Goddamn disturbing. spider. <laughs> Alright, that should give us a little more slack on this throttle. Alright, tighten it up. Tighten this up. And you do not actually need a spider to make this repair. No, no. If you need one, you can have this one. <laughs> All right, so there's uh, two different fuel lines. Um, this one is the uh, uh, one, the one connected to the filter, which is this one, goes to the bigger side of the carburetor, which would be the inside side. And then the uh, smaller one, um, or the one, not smaller one, the, the smaller side goes to the return line. Times up and it's freaking good to go. Um, we never cleaned out this tank, which I should have because it looks like there's water in that. But that's basically how you get the carburetor on. Um, they sent me a small filter, <laughs> so I'll have to clean this one out or find a new one. Uh, but that's basically how you put the carburetor on. Pretty easy. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so. Uh, after I'm done cleaning out this tank water and everything, put fresh gas in, this should run fine. But I'll put a link how you get one of these carburetors on uh, uh, Amazon. Usually comes with uh, all the gaskets, uh, comes with primer balls and filters and fuel lines and you know everything you basically would need to do this job. But quick, easy, out of the way. All right, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, share it with friends. Hit the notification bell. Peace.